In this tutorial, I will show you how to edit your clips and photos to create a compelling movie. I know for some people, video editing looks like a very complex skill to learn, but I promise you it isn't. Video editing can be mastered by anyone. And in this video, I want to show you how straightforward it can be. When you want to create a movie, there are certain editing steps that you will most likely take to bring the movie together. And these are as follows. The first step is always to import your clips and photos to the video editor that you're using. The second step for most people is to start cutting their video clips and maybe adding effects to a clip, like slow motion or speeding up the clip. The third step may be to add some text to your video project. And of course, no video project is really complete without the touch of music. Another step might be to add a title card or intro to your project to introduce your video. And some people also add narration to their video project. Lastly, when the video is complete, you will need to export or save it as a movie. So this is what you will learn in this tutorial. I will show you how to complete all these steps using Windows Movie Maker. Windows Movie Maker was officially discontinued by Microsoft on January 10, 2017, and it has been replaced by Video Editor in Windows 10. I know some people, however, still find this video editor very useful in editing their videos. And for this reason, I have made it available for download on my website for free. I will link the download page below. And it is also the same reason that I will show you how to edit your videos using this great software called Windows Movie Maker. And if you're using Windows 10 and you want to learn how to edit your videos using Windows 10 Video Editor, I have also made a tutorial about how to use Video Editor step by step. I will link it down below in the info box and at the end of this video. So let's begin. When you open Windows Movie Maker, this is how it looks like. On the left hand side is your preview window. So this is where you can play back any part of your clips and photos. And you can see here what your edited video or photos look like. On the right hand side is the timeline area. And this is really where you can edit your clips and photos. Up at the top is the menu area where you can select different options to edit your clips and photos. And just at the bottom of the menu area is the ribbon or tools bar. And this is really an extension of the menu bar at the top. Okay, so step number one is to import or add videos and photos to your timeline. To do that, make sure you are on the home area at the menu bar and then click on add videos and photos. Select the videos and photos you want to edit from your computer. Then click on open and the videos and photos will be added to your timeline. Once your files have been added, you can now edit them. If you have longer videos, I recommend importing your videos one by one. This will help to keep your project organized. And now let's play back the first part of my video clip, which is introducing the wedding dress and shoes. Step number two, if you want to edit your video clips, the first step always is to select it. You can do this by clicking on the clip. The blue outline around your clip will show you that the clip is selected. Next, you want to move the cursor, which is the black wand that you see here, to the spot which you want to cut on your clip. Then click on edit on the menu bar up here and select split. So you can see that our clip has now been split into two parts. Next, I'm going to move my cursor to the end of that scene which is right here. Then again, I will select split 
and you can see that our video clip has now been split again. This time at the end of the wedding gown scene and at the beginning of the shoe display scene. If I want to remove the wedding gown scene, I need to select it. Then click on delete on your keyboard or you can also left click with your mouse and select remove. So you can see the clip has also been removed this way as well. So just a little hint, if you want to undo what you have done at any time, click on the undo icon up here or press Ctrl Z on your keyboard to undo any editing that you have done. And if you want to speed up a clip or slow it down, say for example, we want to speed up the shoe clip right here. I need to make sure the clip is selected. As you can see, the video tools bar is still open. I will speed up this clip to double the time it is now, right here. So let's play that back. Next, if you want to change the duration of a photo that you have added on your timeline, click on the photo to make sure it is selected. When you select any photo on your timeline, you will see that the video tools bar will appear right at the top. I want to change this to be 2.5 seconds instead. You can type 2.5 seconds in the space here. So you can see now that my photo is only 2.5 seconds long rather than 7 seconds long. Step number three, transitions. So for example, if you want to add a transition between the first and second clip, I need to make sure the second clip is selected because I want to add it right here. So I need to select this clip. Then on the menu bar, select animation. And when you click on the arrow pointing down, you have many different transitions to choose from. So you can see here it is, and it is 1.5 seconds long. You can change the duration of your transition here. Step number four is to add music. To add music to clips and photos, select home at the menu bar. Then click on the icon add music and select add music at the current point. Choose a song from your computer, which is copyright free, of course. So you can see that it has added the music track where my cursor is. Now, if you want to move the music track, click on it and hold down the left part of your mouse and move the track to where you want it to go. Then finally, I'm going to add a fade in and out to the music track. So the music tools bar is still open. So all I have to do is to select a slow fade in and a slow fade out. Step number five is to add a text or caption to our video clip or photo. So first, make sure you are at the home area again on the menu bar. Also, make sure you place your cursor where you want the text added. In my case, that is going to be here. Then at the home area, select caption. And you can see that it has added a text box in our preview window. So this is the area where we can add our text. And we can optimize this text in many ways. We can change the font here of the text, for example. We can change the size of the text here. We can also change the text duration here, for example. I can also add an effect to the text here. So you can really play around with these. And I can also outline the text and the outline color here. And by the way, if you want to take a snapshot of any part of your project, you can also do that at the home area on your menu bar. So for example, if I want to take a snapshot of these wedding shoes, 
I need to make sure that my cursor is on the wedding shoe clip frame. Then click on snapshot at the home area. And of course, save the image on your computer. So this is how easy it is to take a photo of any part of your video in Movie Maker. Step number six, add a title and end page or credit. If you want to add a title page before your video or photos, you can also do that at the home area on the menu bar. So make sure that you move your cursor to the beginning of your project because we want to add the title page just before the beginning. Then click on title and you can see now that it has added a new background and text frame to our project. If you want to edit this background and text, you need to do that up here in the menu area. And also up here, you can select different effects for your text entrance. So for example, we can choose this one for the entrance effect. Now, if you want to add a credit page at the end of your project, it's the same process. So again, make sure you are at the home area. Also move your cursor right to the end of your project. Then click on credits up here. And again, you will notice that there is a background and text box added to the end of your project. And then you can edit the background and text box like we have just done for the intro as well. Okay, so step number eight, if you want to record a narration, move your cursor to the area where you want your recording to start. Then click on record. And once you're ready to record your voice, click on the record icon here to record. Finally, if you want to add any visual effects to your photos, move your cursor to the desired photo that you want to edit. Then on the visual effects on the menu bar, select the effect you want to add to the photo, for example, black and white. And you can see now the effect has been added. So it's that simple. Okay, so once you have finished your project, to save this Movie Maker project, click on File at the top left corner, Save Project As, I'm going to call this Windows Movie Maker Tutorial number two, and then save. And if you want to save this project as a movie, go to the home area on your menu bar and then click on save movie on the top right corner. And you have several options here, as you can see. I like to choose for high definition display, so HD, Thank you for watching this video. If you have found it useful, give it a big thumbs up. Also comment down below and I will see you in the next video. Take care and bye bye.